Good morning and welcome back guys. Here we are again, kicking off the 21 week training plan for my 50K Ultra coming up on September the 16th of this year, 2023. And I tell you, I've got some very mixed emotions. I'm feeling very excited as you can tell, but I'm also super nervous because 21 weeks, it's gonna be about 900 to 1,000 kilometers of training. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's no small feat. Um, today we're kicking off run number one and uh, it's basically just a time-based run, 30 minutes, taking it easy, just just getting into the groove. Nothing nothing different to what I've been doing for the last, for this whole year, every Tuesday, just doing a nice 30 minute run in the morning. So we're gonna get cracking. It is an absolutely spectacular morning and um, a bit late, had a meeting this morning. Gonna get out, it's just hit about eight o'clock. So let's get cracking, let's get out there and enjoy it. And uh, I'll show you some of the sights and some of the scenery and we'll be back here to tick it off. All right, run number one done. We'll see how many runs it takes until I don't have this big smile and glow, eh? Um, just over 30 minutes. Just looped it around to home. So 4.8K, 33 minutes. I was thinking maybe I should just round it out to five, but eh, I don't have to. We've got a 21 week journey and it's not about necessarily distance and speed or anything like that. It's just getting comfortable with being uncomfortable such a good topic all right this is run number one as you can see basic stuff we're gonna jump straight over to the rest of the week I'm excited all right team day number two run number two and we're getting out and we're doing a 40 minute time-based run this morning it's simple as that just do 40 minutes on the feet probably end up doing around 6k 5 6k somewhere there um, let's get cracking it's gonna be an absolutely Stunner of a morning. So good. Here comes the sunrise. Here it comes. It's rock and roll. I mean, come on. Stuff. It never gets old. minutes beautiful morning absolutely spectacular nice and foggy fresh the sun's out Whew. the air is mm, not too bad feel good feel great you know the best thing about doing these runs is when you beat them you feel like you've actually absolutely just conquered the day so there's a bit of a catch-22 because before you can feel that you gotta suck it up, you gotta get out there, you gotta give it a go, you gotta deal with the mental, you gotta feel through the physical. But once you get it done, 
the rest of the day feels like, oh yeah, <sighs> do hard things. All right, 40 minutes, slow and steady, 7.02 pace, 5.69, I'm happy with this. Let's move on to Saturday, let's go. All right, team, this is it. Run number three, day number three. It's all happening, and today is an easy one. We're just doing about 20 minutes. That's all we've got to do. Um, that's what the agenda says. That's what we're going to do. It'll probably end up being a little bit more, to be honest, because I'm just going to end up doing a, a shorter loop that I would normally do for my 5K, which will probably work out about between 20 and 30 minutes. But it's, uh, it's a beautiful, calm morning. I'm a little later to the game today, 7.15. It's... it's it's actually not too cold. I thought it was a bit cooler than it is, but it's, it's pretty beautiful. We've got some sun coming up over there. It's uh, pretty good. I'm keen to get out. Let's make this happen. Ah, I feel alive. Let's rock and roll. All done, just like that. 24 minutes, so a bit longer than uh, than was expected, but that's all right. Just rounded it out, made it easier to get back to where I started. Feeling all right. Um, tomorrow is a long run, and we're doing a half marathon. It's going to be two hours, but I need to get my monthly half marathon in, so I'll push that out to the full half. Probably be about two and a half hours. <sighs> Maybe a little longer, um, but we've just done 24 minutes, 3.5k, 6.45 pace. Nothing crazy here. Pretty easy going. Absolutely stunner of a morning. I, I love this weather. This weather just makes you feel cruisy, comfortable, relaxed, snuggly, and just want to kick back and do not much. To be honest, the cooler weather, it's nice. But, uh, it's days like this where you don't have anything on where you got to make the decisions like do you rest or do you play catch up or play get ahead <sighs> big and then the, the funny thing is sometimes resting will enable that but it's a, it's a catch-22 sometimes anyway not too bad I'm happy with this let's dive into the uh, let's dive into the half marathon let's go All right, team. It is uh, it is super fresh this morning. Six degrees. Sunday morning. It's seven a.m. We're about to head out and do a half marathon. <coughs> uh, I've got some gloves that I'll be putting on as well. Uh, look, it's not too bad. It's just foggy. Once the sun comes out, it will probably get pretty, pretty toasty pretty quick. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, we're going to get kicking off. Um, the plan of attack is really just I'll probably do an, a seven or eight k loop and then do a slightly smaller, slightly smaller, until I'm done, basically. Um, I do have half a banana back here at home. I've already had first half and um, got water and stuff with me as well. We're going to be listening to <coughs> um, Beyond Order, is what I'm listening to. I've got about 3 hours and 19 minutes left on that, so I probably won't finish it today, but we're getting pretty close. All right, team. <sighs> Let's do this. It looks cold. Oh, 
this is surreal. Check it out. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. Oh. All right, loop one done, 7.88 kilometers. And uh, now we start loop two, do it all again. Probably get us to about 15, and then uh, we'll do a shorter loop, and then almost done. Not halfway yet, but we're getting there. Feeling good, feeling good. Alright team, 11.41, we're uh, past halfway, let's keep charging on, don't have much battery, it keeps dying, uh, let's go, 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 go. Alright, we're at uh, 14.5k, time for a banana. Alright, the GoPro's come good. It's uh, finally warmed itself up. Uh, we're at 145 kilometers. just had a banana, and uh, we're going to keep going. Got 7k to go, basically. Let's make it happen. Just hitting 17k, it's time to put on some tunes. Let's make it happen. The final hoorah. Let's go. So, run was pretty good all round, mentally all good. Uh, having a bit of issue up here again. Uh, basically, it feels like my whole leg is just like, like this. Um, probably flared up at around 15, 14K maybe. So, it is what it is. Here's the full details. 21.1, 7.14 pace, 2.32. Uh, took it easy, wasn't about pace, was just about getting it done. And this is essentially the wrap up of week number one. GoPro is going to die any second. And I'm going to chuck up everything on screen. You can have a look, go through it. Week one, can't really complain. Pretty solid. Probably pushed it a bit too far in terms of what I was meant to be doing for week one. But I had to get the half marathon done. And I think it's a good start. We're just going to manage any of these small niggles and things like that. But hey, can't complain. Here's the stats. Here's the plan. Here's the actuals. The whole works. The message today is you start, you get into a groove, and then uh, you get yourself ready for a journey. There's gonna be ups and downs and everything in between. And that's that's it. So week number one of 21 weeks, done and dusted for the SCC 50K coming up on September 16th, 2023. 
I'm happy with this. Trust the plan, trust the process, and you get it done. Appreciate you. If you've got any questions, comments, thoughts, check them down below. Otherwise, you have a wonderful day. And go check out my podcast. Cheers.